Celebration Square in the heart of downtown Mississauga, where the only guarantees is that this place will be packed with an explosion of art taking center stage. It's the Mississauga Art Council's 30th anniversary, celebrating 30 years of supporting local artists and enriching the lives of the community. Tonight is the 30th anniversary of the Mississauga Arts Council, so it's a seminal event in our history. It only comes out around once in a lifetime. Uh, and uh, our wonderful staff has organized this incredible event. It's really a showcase of our, our Mississauga talent. We've got over 100 artists that are going to be performing here tonight. We have 22 vendors that are out selling their wares. Again, all Mississauga artists. The master of ceremonies for the event was City News on-air personality Francis D'Souza, Mississauga native and homegrown talent. All right, folks, do not adjust your television sets. Uh, you are seeing double. I'm joined here now by Nelson Narayan. I mean, Francis D'Souza. Francis, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, good. Good to see you. Wow, it's like a mirror image. I see you every day when I look in the mirror. <laughs> a carbon copy, right? There you go. Well, tell me what, what it's like for you to be a part of a, a wonderful event like this. You know what? Mississauga is my home. I was born here. I was raised here. I still live here. And to even just be invited to an event like this, I'm truly honored. Okay, tell me what's the best part of Mississauga for you. You know what, look around. Yeah. It's our culture, it's our multiculturalism, it's the fact that it doesn't matter where you go, there's someone of every different stripe. As a proud sponsor of the event, Mary Kay Cosmetics combined forces with independent artists Claudio Gerardo and Jane Matica to create a masterpiece using only Mary Kay products. How did you come up with the concept of this painting? We just sort of looked at the piece of paper and uh, this is what came out. Is this the first time you guys have ever used makeup in your paintings? Yes, I have never used makeup uh, on paper before. <laughs> it still blends well, just like paint does. It's a challenge mainly, but I mean, I, lo I love a challenge. That's why when uh, I was first approached with this, I said, yeah, I'll take it on and see what I can do with it. And uh, is, is it harder to use makeup than it is to use actual paint? I don't know if it's harder, it's just I have to know how to use it basically, like anything else. I mean, uh... <laughs> doesn't use makeup. <laughs> no, I've only kissed women who had the makeup on. It is absolutely a perfect night for this, and of course we're here to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Mac enriching the lives of all Mississaugans. I'm a big art supporter, my husband Brian's on the Mac board, so he's here, we're here to be supportive. With an exciting lineup of performances, Cross culture was truly on display at Celebration Square, which incorporated over 10 multidisciplinaries. I got an opportunity to speak to some of the talent who shared their experiences participating in the event. As a committee member for the Limelight Association of Young Artists, that we are here at the 30th anniversary, uh, I do more than just, uh, I can consider myself a full entertainer, being an actor, a rapper, songwriter, producer, but I'm trying to also become a philanthropist. Not only that, man, I'm trying to make it into this industry, the entertainment industry, and then uh, give back to the community. It's fantastic. I mean, we're here to celebrate Mississauga. We're here to celebrate artists. We're here to celebrate people who support the arts. So it's really nice for us to come and be a part of this show. Now, what inspires you to dance? Oh my gosh, that's everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything inspires me. I mean, I'm an artist at heart, and all these people you see around me inspire me because they're so talented, so it's like a big creative process. We are a fusion band, so we're Latin, but still we have influence from, for example, from Greg from Arubia background and Canada, and then Colombia, and then so we merge all kinds of uh, rhythms to make it a little bit more international into the Latin field. Tonight we kind of had to merge a bunch of rhythms, including some that people have not heard, like Joropo, which is from uh, Venezuelan field and Colombia okay. and it's music that's played with harp and the cuatro. I love being a part of Mississauga and really getting on that stage. I know that I put my heart and soul to everything I do and it's amazing to be a part of the stage again. We did this whole album, you'll be surprised, in my basement. It was all done in my basement and we sat late nights and really got down and wrote each and every story and each and every note and put this amazing piece together and what really inspires me is just all these different kinds of artists out there. You know what, it's the most rewarding, most crazy feeling ever but I enjoy it so much. This is what really about connecting and getting and getting involved with the community is about, you know what I mean? And Miss is such a great city. We have the best fans ever. I couldn't explain the feeling in any words possible. It's amazing. Right now, I'm going to ask you if you could do me a favor and just spit some lines for me right now. Spit some lines for me? <laughs> Alright, yo. 
Yo, check it, I'm up on Rogers TV. Everybody love me when they see me. It's Wiley Flow, and you already know when I go so fast, I can go so slow. And yo, I can get back crazy with the rhymes. What's your name? Nelson. Nelson's so nice all the time. Yo, you know how it go. Cameraman's recording. Everybody's nice, and nobody's really bored, and we go in. <laughs> what? Awesome, man. Incredible, man. The night came winding down. It just wouldn't have been complete without a grand finale. Accompanied by a plethora of musicians, Sheldon D'Souza electrified Celebration Square. The energy is uh, it's really fulfilling, and the most the most uh, I get out of it is seeing communities together in one place, uh, enjoying entertainment together. So that's what really touched me. Now, how did you come up with the concept of of doing a tribute to Michael Jackson? How did that come about? My, I've been living, uh, thinking about Michael Jackson all my life. I've been dancing from the time I was a little kid, Michael, Michael, this, Michael, that, and uh, it's. I, I, I had a dream. I said I want to. I wanted to play drums for Michael because I'm a drummer as well. But uh, I I got into this to this mindset. I said I'm I'm the dancer. I'm the singer. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get all the best of the best. part of any event is amazing. The fact that we're a part of Mississauga, uh, Mississauga's 30th anniversary event is, is amazing. The cast, the cast that I have was amazing. Working with this cast is, you know, it's amazing. They're all close <laughs> friends to me. Uh, you know, it was, it was nice. And to be the finale, and of course for my idol MJ, you know, you know, Sheldon Kane, he, he, he brought his A game. He, he told me it was a dream and I was making a dream of his come true. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, again, especially being able to... Right, now, it. here's here's the yeah, full, cast. full cast. Now they show. Um, guys, now let me ask you as well, what was it like it like to perform up up on that stage? It was amazing, it was so much fun. The crowd was great, and the, the, actually dancing in the live band is pretty amazing. We don't get that opportunity often. It was just, it's unreal to be on stage, especially doing MJ. Yeah. Dream come true, yeah. The late, great MJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're dancers, so we always have fun every time we go up. Yeah, no, the energy was really great. I mean, the dancers with Sheldon, the energy he had, the live band, the energy he gave us, and you know what I mean, in the crowd too. It was awesome. A spectacular conclusion to an awesome ceremony, the Mississauga Arts Council continues its quest to make a significant contribution to the community and to champion a wonderful arts program for many years to come. From Celebration Square in Mississauga, I'm Nelson Narayan for 